your time in Vienna. <laughs> Wonderful. You're sounding great. It's Thank just you. fantastic. You are uh, very straightforward as a musician, which I love. You're just direct and you're open in your matter of fact and you produce the music as it comes. I think there is more storytelling in this piece. And I don't mean by that romantic telling t stories I mean musical stories. I think this piece, like all of Bach, is, is, a, is a story in music. And, and it's not quite coming out enough yet. So what's happening at the beginning is you're saying, <laughs> dee, 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 dee. I'm going to play it at a low octave. Do you mind? Because I have a cello. This is written for cello. So it really should be. <laughs> That's, we're in C major, right? That's what he said. So do that. <laughs> Do that scale. Ta -da -da -dee -da -dee -dee -da. Yeah. Why? Why do you rush those two notes in the middle? You go ta da da dee ba ba ba. No. Ta da da dee da dee da da. And then to C. Still, still make it a little more. Ta da 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 dee da dee. And then to C. So it's very clear to everybody. Every, you know, what I call Aunt Mabel. You know Aunt Mabel. You know she she knows what she likes. She doesn't know anything, but she knows what she likes. Aunt Mabel says, "Ah, oh, that's in C major, right? Because that that's what he's saying. I'm in C major. So have a noble <laughs> just do that again. <laughs> Good. We reach C. Now what happens? C. To see, and then he goes again to see. Just in case you weren't quite sure, Aunt Mabel now really knows it's in C. So let's have those C's. Here we go. Come, come a little closer so that we can be, we can talk together. Yeah. All right. So, soon. Yeah. Yeah. Begin. And then to see. It's so natural, isn't it? Mm. And I would make it very even yeah. because it's Bach and he wants to, you know, he's very architectural and he wanted yeah. things so. <laughs> it doesn't mean that it should be metronomic, mm. but it should be even. Mm. <laughs> Just do it one more time together. <laughs> Now, what happens? C. We do C. To B. Then to A. Then to G. And that is the dominant of C. Right. Right? So let's go on that journey together from C, C. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang around on that E because the, uh, where are we? To be. So you're telling the audience, C goes to 
be, and they can all hear it. Even Aunt Mabel can hear it. So here we go from there. Can you can you help the audience? Oh, dom, bom, bom. Just help a little bit with the last two notes. So. Just help them. And you might actually, while you're playing, you just look up to check whether they're, they're with you. Should we try once again from C? Here we go. C. C. Help them, help them a little. Right, do it once again. Yes. This gentleman is beaming from ear to ear because he understands what's going on. Right? It wasn't his fault that he didn't understand it, it was our fault. Right? It's our job to make this lovely gentleman understand how the music is working. All right, we've got to G. Now what happens when he gets to G? He's kind of wandering about because he doesn't quite know what to do. Oh, I see what he's going to do. So he's playing harmonies. So should we try from G? Yeah, play, help him a little bit. Just help him a little. You might look over and make sure he's with you. Okay, once again from G U. Good. Now what's happening is the G has gone down to F. Would you help that and help him a little bit there? And just check every now and again to see if he's still smiling, okay? <laughs> A minor, which is dangerous because it's rather related to C major. So he said, I don't want to be there, it's too early. And so he changes his mind and says, No, I'm not going to go there. And then he does it. Now comes a very interesting thing. That's a building line. Do you do from there? Oh, no, do it one more time from G major. when you do that in two bar units. Very, very peaceful, isn't it? Because it's Isn't that lovely? Should we try from there? To uh, from the A minor. Make it very even. Because nothing's happening to suggest unevenness, right again? 
Right, this is going to be a very important arrival place. So we want to get quieter and quieter as it comes down. You know. And notice they're also in two bar units because this you. Every other bar from C major, quiet as you can. Cathedral, isn't it? So, and there's a beautiful thing here. There's two bars. Now, here starts a sequence. So, you bring out that sequence, two bars, and then so from there. Now, here it's, yeah, go, 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 go. That's where the sequence starts. So you need yeah. a little bit of time to tell the audience, because otherwise you won't know, yeah. right? That there's a sequence. So here we go, two bars. Now, yeah, no, no, go, 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 go. the dominant oh my god that's so yeah. exciting so make sure that that is do once again just from the beginning of the sequence from right from there and, and feel that the G is like a pedal note on an organ from there from there time building and building and building and when he gets to the C major OMG <laughs> all right we've done that. so do would you do from 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 here to <laughs>
And that's like a chord in a cathedral. It's going to fill out the whole cathedral. That was great. Do from here. But when you get to the. <laughs> Each one is more from the other. Can you make the high note even more? Ta da ti da ta, so that we really feel the intensity. Just like you went. Here, it's the same thing upside down, isn't it? The, uh, yeah, don't rush, don't rush. Do, 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 do. And one D. that he's built. This is a small instrument with an enormous soul. Right, with an enormous soul. And when you get finally <laughs> you've arrived. You know this guy had 20 children. Do you know that? Bach had 20 children. 20 children! I mean, just think about it. It's just so much energy, so much power. Do one more time. The last time. We're just right here. Do from, you know how great that was when you had that chord? And Each note is E, E flat, D, and finally C. And all of that. Should we do that once again from there, from the big chord? It's silly, do it from here, one last time. And it's the last time you'll ever do it. You will leave and you'll be run over by a bus, <laughs> right? And then we'll write to your parents and we'll say, oh, we're so sorry, Julia didn't. Oh, there, I'm so sorry they didn't make it. But you should have heard the last time she did. It was incredible. Yeah. Once again, from here, T. Don't rush. It's a terrific arrival point. <laughs> when he finished a piece of music. Do you know what he wrote on the score? He wrote, for the glory of God. <laughs> Isn't that great? It wasn't for himself. 
it was for the glory of God or whatever God means to you. You know, I think of possibility as being the world of God. It's, it's, a, it's an opening up of the human heart to be available to everybody, and that's what you were just doing. We don't play music for ourselves. We play music for the beautiful faces and the reactions, the shining eyes. That's why we do it, isn't it great? I mean, that'll get you up in the morning. Oh, yeah. I mean, really, it's just such a joy, and Bach is so full of God. I mean, enthusiasm is the theo in the word enthusiasm. It's theo, in theo, that's God. So it's full of God or full of possibility. That's what our job is, to go into the world full of just energy and joy and being there and availability and and giving it away and that's what you're doing now before you were a little bit just in the mode of playing playing very well but it didn't touch the soul they didn't get people say wow that's what i want to do with my life mm -hmm. all right, right isn't that great that's beautiful thank you so much yeah. Yeah. Yeah.